Darman opened up a new series called Bookside High, episode one. Bullies shame poor kid for his disability. What type of disability does he have? We're about to find out. Let's check this out. All right, we're here. So wait, I feel like I recognize the pair, mother, son. Oh, look, there's a library right down the street. Extended hours. A library. That's nice, right? He does not want to study. Look, I know this isn't as big as our other place, but that just means that it's nice and cozy, right? <laughs> Bro, call a dump like this cozy. I mean, yo, if you have your mom, she's doing well, she's breathing, the car works, and it's cozy, bro. There's nothing wrong with it, man. Chill out. You're not a white girl that wants to sit in an Escalade. Oh, wait, didn't he have an accident in, like, an old episode? Jog my memory, guys. Tell me. Oh, no, bro. Well, that sucks, man. I've got it. And he doesn't want to be dependent on his mom. Yo, it must be so hard. Oh, no. Oh, hello there. Are you guys just moving in? Yeah. I'm Naomi. And this is my son, Khalil. Well, welcome to the building. Uh, I'm Pastor Paul. If you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm Pastor just uh, Paul. away. That rhymes. <laughs> God <Not> bless. Really. <laughs> he was really nice. <clears throat> Not like our old neighbors. <laughs> I don't even remember what their the old door. neighbors were. It's so sweetheart. That's I like in the new place. Like, like is a strong word. Place is a dump. Fuck can't be yo. that bad. Where did he come yeah, from? Maybe not. So the homeless people camping outside the building. It wasn't for me. We'd still be in our house across town. My oh. mom's trying to be all positive and stuff, which only makes things worse. But she's miserable too. <laughs> Don't think like that, man. Your mom loves you. Yeah. Sure, she doesn't love paying my medical bills, though. Enough about me. Can't believe you guys made it to states. You must be stoked. Oh, uh, I actually don't think I'll be able to go. What? Why not? Uh, Coach said we all need to pay our own way, and uh, he can't afford it. My pops just lost his job, so we don't have any money to fly you know, me that out. That sucks, man. <laughs> My parents didn't even have any money to buy me a new pair of cleats. And you have to tape them. <laughs> so I've been hey, waiting. Hey, Cooper, I'm wide open. Hey, <laughs> watch it. Oh, hey, yo, my bad, man. Did I mess up your sneaks? Oh, I mean, bro, you probably heard him. Pretty terrible already. Hold on, hold on. I think you actually promised this back in the place. <laughs> oh, look. Junior Goons got anything better possible? to do, Dom? Uh, did you guys hear something? I thought I heard something for a second. Just get lost. Oh, 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 oh. Just because you've got daddy's money doesn't mean you're better than anybody. Hey, oh man, you scared us. I didn't even see you down there. Yeah, me neither. Nice ride, man. What's that? Four wheel drive. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, maybe oh. even a backup camera? Shit. <laughs> it's not uh. funny, guys. Get out of here with that crap. Bro, if I was in his position, I would here, punch him in the face. Go pro one day. Looks like he learned his lesson the hard way. I swear if I had my legs, I'd even. Or else what, huh? Or else what? <sighs> Calm down. Calm down, Will. I'm just messing with you. Hey, hey. Remember how you got in this chair? Hmm? Couldn't do anything about it back then. Sure as heck can't do anything about it now. Oh, uh, by the way. I told Coach that kid was too scrawny to be on the team anyways, so... Better luck next time, buddy. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my bad, man. Did I mess up your sneaks? Gonna be 
Uh, uh, oh. Man, are you serious, no, dude? We need the game this week. Come on. Did you just purposely run over Dominic's foot? No, Dominic. I know you're going through a lot, but you can't take it out on other people. Yeah, but yo, he started it. It's not fair, yo. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I can't believe it took you this long to come home. It's not easy when Told you're on you wheels. I, I can take care up. of myself. I don't need you to baby me, Mom. You're right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, honey. Could you do me a favor? We're out of salt. Could you ask Paul oh, if we could no. borrow some? No, no, not doing that. Please. I made your favorite sausage tortellini. Oh, now he's getting it. Some salt. It'll take too long for me to go to the store. Would you please just do this for me? Please. Now he's hungry, bro. He's a, you bet your ass he's gonna go get his salt. Khalil, what can I do for you, buddy? My mom wants to know if she can borrow some salt. Sure, come on in. I feel like this guy Paul is gonna help Khalil, cause he's a he's a psycho no not a psychologist he's a social worker right so he's probably gonna teach him a thing or two. Oh, those are some kids I used to work with over at the church. Shit, you! I you feel should. like Paul's been through something in his past too. Landlord just kept raising the rent. I couldn't keep up, and uh, eventually I lost the church. And he plays chess. Do you too. like football? I'm supposed to get a full ride. Maybe even go pro. That was a dream, at least, but. Until that accident. It's all gone now. I'm really and sorry. I remember to hear that. that episode, too. But you know what they say when one door closes, Another opens. Sometimes the most painful moments in life are actually blessings in disguise. Right. I had a lot of those last year, man, and they are blessings. Overnight, and my like, legs a lot of breakups, bro. Really just some kind of blessing in disguise. How are you so positive, man? I mean, you lost your church. That isn't haunt you? I may have lost my church. That didn't keep me from helping people and working with kids. Did you ever try to play any other sports since? You kidding, right? I mean, it's it's a little In hard. Because it's not obvious. Sports are kind of out the window for me. Oh, but that's not true. There's so many other things that you could still do, like, like swimming, archery, uh, wheelchair basketball, uh, chess. Do you know how to play? Those aren't. Yeah, chess is not a sport. sport. It actually is. It is. You should check it Hold out. Hold up, let me. I gotta There's check. A I gotta check it out, bro. As you move across the board, kind of like football. Let me know if you need anything else. Thanks. And when you give your mom the salt, why don't you give her a little sugar as well? Uh, figuratively. Hmm? I know you're going through a lot, but remember, it's hard on her too. Mm -hmm. Cause she has to pay, she has to pay the burden, right? Maybe she doesn't have to go through uh, being in a wheelchair, but she still has to pay for those oh. medical bills. And that's not easy for a single Thank mom God. to do, right? Thanks, honey. Okay. And a little bit of this and a little bit of that. 
Now let's eat. Gonna eat this in my room. Oh, come on, Khalil. You always used to have dinner with me. Yeah, and I also used to be able to use my legs. Some things change. I mean, he still has his legs, but he just can't use them. If you want, you can pick me up from school tomorrow. Okay. Sounds good, honey. Poor man, bro. I don't know what I'd do if I was in this position. Sure, you don't need anything else before I go back to don't work. Don't they have like a bus that takes people with tonight, wheelchairs and disabilities? Be fine. Because like some buses have like a ramp, right? I don't know why the school oh. doesn't provide that. Why don't you go to the library? Maybe they have a computer you can use. Oh, don't forget I can't pick you up tomorrow. I have to work and. I will let you use the car, but until we get it adjusted, I... I'll figure it out. Hey, watch it. Oh, he's blind. Sorry. I didn't realize. I'm so sorry about that. Gavin's still getting used to his cane. No, no bro. Yo, I feel bad this, seeing uh, kids in these difficulties. recently. Uh, well, a bully at his school thought it would be a good idea to wail a ball at his face. They gave him a cataract, and we're trying to come up with the money for surgery to remove it, since insurance doesn't cover it, but the procedure is expensive, to say the least. Bro, no way, man. Hey, These surgeries uh, are expensive. Gavin, believe me when I say that I can relate to you in more ways than you think. I, I'm Khalil, by the way. Hey, Khalil. Sorry again for bumping into you. It's all good. I live nearby, so uh, hopefully we bump into each other again. Come on. Hey. See so you're into chess. Uh, we're actually going to be hosting a big chess tournament. Oh, there must be a money. In case you're interested in signing up. And he's going to use the money There's to gonna fix be a the cataract. Cool prize. Yeah, yo, bro, these titles are so predictable. I could fucking predict the whole storyline right now, man. Hey, so have you talked to Coach about the situation with State? No, not yet. But honestly, I don't even know if I want to go. And it wouldn't be the same without you. Uh, and I don't hey, want to be losers? stuck with. Oh, uh, are you both riding home on Khalil's wheelchair? Be quiet, Dom. You know, it's really sweet of you to give Miguel here a ride just because I'm not sure his shoes can handle the walk home now. No. Vroom, vroom. I'm sure we get tired of You gotta beat him up, bro. At least they can run. I have a feeling he's gonna jump out of his wheelchair. Well, I must say, the faculty here is really impressed with all the I work you've been doing with end up paying after for school it. program. I'm delighted to hear that. The kids have been a joy to work with. Right yeah. this way. Um. Yeah, no one understands how difficult it is to be in his position. I spoke to your mother on the phone and she's not able to join us for the meeting. However, she is very, very concerned about your behavior, as am I. What do you have to say for yourself, young man? You threw a rock at Dominic's car. What on earth would make you do such a thing? He's on a wheelchair. Probably someone bullied him. Considering the incident in the hallway, and now this, I have grounds to suspend you. Whatever. 
All right, if that's the case, then... Yes? Bro, what a stupid-ass principal. Pastor Paul, I'm in the middle of a meeting right now. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. I'm Khalil's neighbor, and I know he's going through a lot. Please give him another chance. Please, I can work with him on my own time after school to mentor him. Please. Considering your track record with the other students, I... No, no, I don't want to say yes or you'll get suspended. Just imagine how your mom will feel. I know you care about her. I appreciate you giving me the chance to work with you. I don't think I really had a choice. Well, let's just jump right in then. Most of your frustrations, understandably so, stem from your injury. I think I remember you saying it's from football. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about what happened? He doesn't want to reminiscence. It's so... I know, man. Okay, now we're getting the story. Yo! Yeah. Oh, shit! Uh. What the Cleo. fuck? Cleo. Why are they laughing? Cleo. Cleo. Yo, that brings trauma, man. I would Cleo. not want to think about football. I don't want to talk about it. I completely understand. I'm not going to pressure you. Bro. However. I would like for us Yo, this to is fucking painful. look at this situation in a different light. When terrible things happen to us, it's easy for the negativity to take over our lives. That's why it's so important to see the positive, because sometimes the negatives are actually blessings in disguise. Come on, man, no. enough with all that positivity crap. I'm serious, Khalil. I don't know, man. You it's can a little look at hard any bad to think situation of that happens to you the wheel and see the good in it. To be positive. Like that church example that I told you about before. All right. And tell me how losing our house and moving into this busted building is secretly a blessing in disguise. Well, I met you as my neighbor and I got you out of getting suspended. But he wouldn't be in that I'd place. I'd say that's a blessing. You being injured will likely make you more sympathetic to others with disabilities that are going through a tough time. You may be even able to coach them. And like I said before, there's no reason why you can't find other things that you're good at or more passionate about than football. Did you look into chess? A little bit. But, um... I don't even have a chessboard to practice with. You could or buy a computer. No way, no. Too broke. Shit. You could play in your mind, too. Like, close your eyes and just imagine taking the first move. If you guys don't have a chessboard, then that's that. I like chess, too, but I'm not really Here. good at it. I'm okay. You can have mine. For real? Yeah. I'll even show you how to play during our sessions. How does that sound? That's pretty sick, you man. You lecture. <laughs> so these are the pawns. This is the king. Queen. Yo, I didn't know there's that much to learn about chess. Like a book worth of information. Khalil, dinner's ready. Just leave it outside. Yeah, I don't know how, how these motherfuckers play with themselves, chess. When I was young, I had dreams of glory. All these mistakes seem to come like a flood. Until my days, my days, they were done. So generous. 
song for the dreamer want $30,000 that could pay for that kid's cataract surgery mind if I sit with you <laughs> not at all I'd be honored to sit with the world's newest chess champion in the county. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. So, wow. it seems that you found something new that you are really good at and that you enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. I actually love chess, like even more than football. I never would have known that had I not gotten oh. injured. I guess it's true what they say. When one door closes, another opens. Sometimes life's most painful moments are actually blessings in disguise. disguise. Well, listen to you, Mr. Positivity. All right, whatever. <laughs> so, you sounding have you like about his. what you're going to do with the prize money? Like, maybe buy yourself a car that you can drive. Actually, I have something else in mind. Oh, hey, sir, before you go, got something for you. Who's this? Can't say. Go get that surgery, Khalil. Oh my Whoa, god. Oh, but he still has twenty thousand dollars more. Check for ten thousand dollars. You can get your surgery. <laughs> you can finally see. Got his friend new shoes. This is a nice friend. the bulk of the check if you ask me <laughs> I love this bro I love how it helps you stay positive that was bookside high episode one bully shame kid for his disability to be honest man this guy been through a lot 
And I really appreciate how he turns, turned it, everything around, like turned the whole negative situation and made, made something good come out of it. Saving his friend from getting bullied or helping his neighbor pay rent and even fucking help a kid get cataract surgery so he can finally see again. That is just heartwarming, man. But let me know what you guys think about this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.